Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jellen. Yesterday we were dealing with Jeff's question where he had multiple conditions and Jeff had written an array formula. Basically would handle this equal sum and then if and frankly this is how I, I write these and this is how I show it in my seminars and this is how I put it on the website. You know, but every once in a while someone in the audience will call me out on this and they say, you know, you could use some product. Well, I have to admit I didn't go to school the day that they talked about some product, so I just never ever started using it. But it is true that all of these complex array formulas that I built could basically be replaced with a sum product, and it's not that hard to do if you've already mastered this kind of a formula. It's very simple to change it. Basically, what you're going to do is instead of the sum if, you're just going to type a single function, sum product, open parentheses, and then at the very last part of the if, the comma, where you say what to do if it's true, we're going to multiply. So get rid of that comma, replace it with a multiplication sign. Basically, that's going to take all of our data. It's going to take a look and see if D is equal to Verizon, if B is equal to XYZ, and then if both of those are true, we're going to get the corresponding value from column F. If either one of them is not true, it's going to evaluate to a zero, and basically we're going to get a zero for that row. Some product, it does not require you remember control shift enter, a little bit better there. I know a lot of people are some product fans and I get it now. I understand. I want to thank all the folks at the UK seminar, um, Rich and John van der Hayden, who said, uh, you know, hey, this is really a better way to go. Why don't you ever talk about it on the website? And I really just had to admit that I, I had never used it before. Some product, very cool way to go. So now let's talk about Jeff's question yesterday where he had multiple conditions. He had multiple ands and ors, and certainly you can build that together in a sum product. What I did here, because I want to see if column D was either Verizon or Ford, build an extra level of parentheses with the plus sign in the middle. So we have D2 to D564 equal Verizon in one set of parentheses, Ford in another set of parentheses, those joined together with a plus and the whole thing in parentheses. You can continue this logic um, building multiple ands. Remember the and sign is the asterisk or ors, that's the plus sign, in a sum product and build um, incredibly complicated conditional sums using sum product. So either the array formula that we used yesterday or the sum product, um, both great ways to go to solve this problem. I want to thank Jeff for sending this in. Hey, this is our last podcast of the year. and I have a question for you. If you've noticed, um, over the course of most of the year, the formulas that we were talking about were a little bit fuzzy in the podcast. And recently, thanks to Mike from Call for Help, um, up in Toronto, Mike pointed out a brand new product that we could use called MPEG Streamcast. Um, we started using MPEG Streamcast right before Christmas. I want to ask you if things are better. Are you able to see the formulas better now? Hey, I want to thank you for stopping by. It's been a great year. We'll see you next year. We'll be back on Wednesday, January 2nd with another podcast.